Royce, going to be uh, ex overseer of the uh, USS Patriot. Good afternoon, Patriots. This month, the Navy joins the nation in celebrating a heritage that is rich in both history and culture. The American Indian and Alaska Native people, or as noted throughout history as the first Americans, have long demonstrated their unique commitment to defending our nation's nation, national interests over the past 237 years. Today, their commitment is still unwavering with more than 15,000 sailors and over 1,500 civilians serving in the Navy today. And one in four American Indians are a veteran of our armed forces. Looking back throughout history, we see a legacy of service that spans all the way from the War of Independence, where they were first recruited into General George Washington's army, through the War of 1812, the Civil War, both World Wars, and every conflict and war to present day. Nearly 15,000 Native Americans enlisted and fought valiantly in the military during World War I, and this was them despite being eligible for the draft. So of those 15,000, they were all volunteers. Their valor and their patriotism and their distinction in battle led to Congress passing the Indian Citizenship Act of 1924. That is when they were given the right to vote and also full citizenship. According to the Department of the Navy during World War II, more than 44,000 American Indians served in the military. And that's only out of a total population of less than 350. American Indian soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen have all fought heroically in all of the wars and armed conflicts in this last century. They've earned multiple military distinctions. I'd just like to go over a couple um, particularly noteworthy and relevant to the Navy. Uh, during, 19, uh, during World War II, 1943, Lieutenant Commander Ernest Evans, Jr., a half Cherokee and one quarter Creek from Oklahoma, was the commanding officer of the USS Johnston. During that commissioning ceremony, he quoted John Paul Jones, and he said that he intended to go in harm's way. He had a fighting ship, and he will never retreat from an enemy force. Well, one year later, in a battle off the coast of the Philippines, he did just that. Facing a heavily armed Japanese force, he, along with his shipmates, sailed into the heart of that battle, fought valiantly, and turned the Japanese force away. Now, during the course of that battle, the ship was lost, half the crew was lost, but he did his job, never gave up, never surrendered. In uh, Vietnam, Boston's mate first class, James Elliott Williams, South Carolina Cherokee, received the Medal of Honor for his actions as a river patrol boat commander. He was also the highest decorated enlisted soldier or enlisted sailor in the history of the United States Navy. Uh, the USS James E. Williams, DDG-95, was named in his honor. You know, those two examples represent just a, a fraction of the contributions, services, and sacrifices that Native Americans have made for this country. It's that indomitable warrior spirit so deeply rooted in traditional Native American culture, very similar to the Navy's core values of honor, courage, and commitment. Just as the ethos of the Native American warrior is to protect their people, defend their homeland, and to make the ultimate sacrifice, if necessary, for the preservation of their heritage, the Navy stands ready to protect and defend our nation and our freedoms. Just as I know you, the crew of the Patriot, halfway around the world in Japan, away from your families, stand ready to fight and be victorious and protect your ship and your ship. I think it's especially symbolic that we are doing this presentation here on board the Patriot, named in honor of you all, named in honor of all the Patriots in the United States. The country's greatest assets are our people, and our successes as a Navy line the fact that our nation's Patriots are diverse. If you take a look around at your shipmates, you will see that we come in all colors, sizes, and that is what makes our nation and our Navy strong face diversity. So before we kick this off, uh, we'd like to thank our um, Chief Alada, the head of our Multicultural Committee, who put on this uh, fantastic schedule of events throughout the month of November for you to enjoy. I encourage you all to participate.
Are there any questions? Yes. Hi, uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, MN2 Divine. Are we going to have a gay pride month? June has been designated as Pride Month. Um, we will leave it up to the Multicultural Committee to come up with some ideas for the uh, uh, CO, for the XO, and then CMC and I to, to discuss. Are you going to kick off on the Mestex Gay Pride Month and talk about all talk about the significant contributions that homosexuals have made in our service? Well, again, the Heritage Month is not uh, necessarily about uh, being homosexual, but it's really to celebrate you know all the different cultures and diversities. And if we as a crew decide to honor that then uh, that is something that we'll do. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, uh, Stephen, I'm uh, so June is, is a homosexual month, and last month was African American month, and this month is Native American. Uh, when is the Irish American month? You know, that, that is a good question, and that is a question that I think has been asked um, multiple times, but I'd like to point out that these heritage months are not about ethnicity, they're not about race, they're not about skin color. They're about heritage and learning a little bit about the culture, the art, the ancestral histories of, of various peoples. Ian, Judith, what are we having for dinner tonight? Well, honestly, Ian, too, I, I didn't look at the, uh, the uh, plan of the week. But uh, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> we have fish. I mean, we have fish all the time, but I don't know what else we would have for the day. Well, what is today? Today is uh, Friday. Today is Fish Friday, I believe. Well, these history months, uh, as I stated earlier, is about exploring the cultures and the histories and the traditions. Um, you know, but it's also important to realize that diversity is what makes the Navy strong. Diverse thoughts, diverse experiences, diverse backgrounds. So if you look around the Navy, if you look around the nation, you know, we are the melting pot. You know, they call us the melting pot of a of the world for a reason, because we have so many diverse people, and uh, all those is what makes the United States what it is. <coughs>